Ah, grab my balls. This time, we do thing. I think maybe. I don't yeah, know. we're we're getting ready to start the trial. Fuck yeah, mate. Ah. <laughs> Is it big? December 26, 1944. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 222. Oh boy. Karma? He's a bitch. That's right. Manfred von Karma. Yeah. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. He is a god of a, pros a prosecution. Right. A god. Not a single case? He'll do anything to guilty to get a guilty verdict any anything. Hmm, sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. Hmm. <laughs> you don't understand. I mean he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. He'll do literally illegal things worse than illegal things that I've done. Uh that <laughs> That's quite a claim coming from <laughs> someone who forges evidence. He Dude, told me Edgeworth does illegal things. Yeah. Oh my god. He taught me that... He taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? Just picture a prosecution... Prosecutor as vicious as me. Multiply by a factor of ten. Ten balls! Why are you crying? Uh... So... So was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. He was my oh. idol! And now he's... And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep. Oh wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. He hasn't lost it once in 40 years. 40 years. But you're saying he has He's lost. He's as ruthless as me twi times 20. God, I butchered that one. That's pretty ruthless. It's no use! But, ah! but Larry's not here. Larry's dead. Yeah. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. On the inside. I guess that's something like Mia was- Yes, like, lawyer peasants! It is I! <laughs> no, he's not even alive! Go away! Speaking of Mia... Uh, Maya? Uh-huh. We could really be using Mia's help with right now, don't you think? Oh. I can't. Sorry, I tried, I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. I only got a dial tone! My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. I only have two bars on my reception. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. You see his hair bobbles? When my they hair. glow, it works better. No, 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 it's the thing around their necklace. Of course it is. The Magatama, I think they call it that. Whatever. Magnatuda? I hope so. Akuna Matata. Sure. <laughs> that would be the power to make your worries go away. But, uh, what are, you whisper what are you whispering about? Oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. Yes. It's time for Greg the Prosecutor to do his thing. December, 20 December 26, 10 a.m. District Court. Room, room I like number. how you call him a prosecutor, even though he's a defense attorney. Greg! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, he's dead. Greg! Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool. You seriously think that I would stand here were I not completely prepared? Uh, right, my apologies. <laughs> no. He's even got the judge scared. New judge. Very well, your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. <laughs> what? What? I'll make him more evil. <laughs> okay. He's first. A decisive witness. <laughs> He's flipped his personality disorder. <laughs> <laughs> My voice box. Yeah. What else could I possibly be required? <laughs> uh, 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 nothing, of course. Which that should be fine. The prosecution may call the, its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? Yes. How am I supposed to fight against this? <laughs> I called the detective in char- in, in char- in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. <laughs> okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Oh, by the way, how about that new Pokemon, Gumshoe's? God dang it. <laughs> Describe the incident now! Still! Yes, sir! <laughs> Whoa! Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. 
Uh, please take a look at the map. Do it now, you should find. No, stop that. <laughs> the murder happened late Christmas Eve, around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. Uh -huh. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping there on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. Ha! <laughs> it went towards the boat rental shop. Hmm. Overhead map, add to the court record. Where are you from? Testify to the court about your arrest. Now! Well, wait, Mr. Von Karma. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Nine, nine, you nine. You forgot one thing, Your Honor. <laughs> nine. Wrong. There is only one thing you need to do here. You must slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. <laughs> yes, of course. You're quite right. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Make him sound like a freaking mad Nazi scientist. No! Uh, <laughs> not that Not that Nazis were only German. No! No. Alright. Uh, whoops. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. He had to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's what we found, Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. No other suspects. Yeah, because freaking we were the one who found the suspects. Ugh. Or, I mean, um, witness. Remove witness. I mean, seriously, whatever. Uh, hmm, I see, very well. Oh, it's your... Oh, sorry, line. Begin your cross-examination attorney now! <laughs> Remove judge. Yeah. <laughs> Man called the station. Objection, yeah. you nerd! I wanted to see about this. You received a call from a man? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a dog. Uh, yep. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Oh! Objection! <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like a demon! Yep. He's a Kuma! That woman and the man, and the man, they, they, I mean seriously, he's German, come on now. The man who called in the report are two different American. people, obviously. Did you just call me a nerd? No, I was making terrible jokes. The problem might not actually translate very well into this thing. I said he's English, he speaks American, and I got that completely backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Different people. There were two witnesses. <laughs> the testimonies were quite similar, however. <laughs> Today, I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping, a lot of heart. Oh, Lord, Lord, I just saw me a dead body. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, what happened next, detective? <laughs> we head to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's there. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Press the plus minus button to punch. Uh, he's probably not going to say anything important right there. Could never he, let go. A body was found in the lake. That was him. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Why is that? Well, we found a murder weapon on the, in the boat. Yeah, here we go. A murder weapon? A knife. A pistol. <laughs> a naginata. <laughs> <laughs> it was the monkey! Detective Gumshoe. This is a vital piece of this is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. R right. Sorry, Your Honor. We're afraid we found the boat was decisive evidence. What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? It was a gun. Oh. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Ah. He has the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. There, there were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. Actually... I oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, present freaking badge! Hold on. Let me just look at something. Okay, never mind. I thought we had something we could look at, but I don't think we do. 
Order, order. So Mr. Edward's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Yes, Your Honor. So from his right hand. Judge! The weapon in... Wait. This is the weapon. This is the weapon in question. They better have that in a freaking plastic bag. <laughs> yeah, they usually do. No, it's covered in peanut butter. <laughs> Accepted into evidence. <laughs> okay, maybe now I can be able to read it. Does it? It seemed like Detective Gumshoe is being a little bit... Ugh, being a little vague. I bet Von Karma is feel, feeding him lines. His testimony probably fi is probably filled with land landmines just waiting for me to press. What do we do? Get our, grit our teeth and press, I guess. That's what, what else can we do? Well said, Nick. You're the man. Now, something... Let me read the thing. I like how he's being all shifty with his eyes, even though he's, like, supposed to be on edge or his side. On crack. <laughs> no! He's on crack! No, he's not. He's on guns! <laughs> so he sniff guns? Yes! <laughs> he still has the gunpowder. He right sniffs there. the gun with the peanut butter on it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, fired three times. It looks like a freaking Luger, too. <laughs> right hand. Okay. Man, call the station. Oh wait, maybe it's something with the last case. Uh, Ask him about not suspecting him about things. Wait, hold on. I'm trying to remember. press, 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 press the gumshoe. Get um, what's that guy's name? Oh man, the guy. I don't remember his name. I was about to say get the guy that does Parappa the Rapper the freaking like. He he freaking like was in the whatever. Sonic Adventure 2 Knuckles themes. Whatever I found in the boat was decisive evidence. Same guy. Freaking overhead map. This is probably gonna be wrong. Objection! Yeah, this is wrong. Oh wait, maybe I have to just press something again. Okay. Press harder. Matthew Ronin's R O N I N, right? Ronin? Yeah. Yeah, R O N I N. That's my name for Matrico. Wow. Hey, I'm gonna wow! just start asking him questions. That's a good now. name. Wait. Why didn't you think? Why didn't you think he was suspicious? Cause he's dead. You should know. We had a deep trusting relationship with the prosecutors. <laughs> Did not get over that. Detective Gun. Oh, Detective. The court isn't interested in your musings. Deep trusting poppycock. <laughs> nine 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 nine. <laughs> I've never heard so many fli flippant comments from an active detective on the force. Eh. <laughs> detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue now! <laughs> Schnell! Schweinhund! Quick, press on the press about the press. Coughs. Did you find any clues on the body? A oh, single freaking. bullet was recovered from the body. <laughs> this was a lot of the thing I was missing. Like it's not bloody. Oh, is this a big... He was shot through the heart. Fatally. Wait, how could we not get the bullet? Because I didn't the press this one line that he said. Oh, shit. It's fine. It's your line anyway. Oh. Judge! He asked the bullet. It was kind of my mistake. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well. The court accepts this bullet of evidence. I like how there's there still go. no blood on it. Members of the, okay. Members of the court. We now have the pistol used in the murder, and the, the bullet found in the body. He just sharpened the gun and stabbed him. Detective. Yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from the pistol? No. Yes, the most markings on the bullet match the pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick. What does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking. To imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. Wow, he's a dick. <laughs> Nick, he's glaring at me. Tisk. Very well. I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it! Yes. <laughs> judge. Uh, me? Uh, <clears throat> You're my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ballistic markings are like a are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on the each of each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Okay. Indeed. 
this leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from the, this pistol. They just jammed the, put the bullet into his heart. <laughs> <laughs> this pistol, which as you may not recall, was recovered with the defendant's own fingerprints. <laughs> nah. I'm with order, your mom's order. fingerprints. This is bad. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it. Veil judge? I would say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However... 999! Nine, you wish to hear the witnesses speak, no doubt. Very well. Well, I am somewhat f fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last 10 minutes. Judge! Yes? What are you doing? A 10 minute recess! No! But, but wait, I... Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man! Yes. Schnell! <laughs> no! <clears throat> this court will take a 10 minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? I am! <laughs>